why become a CWT? It speaks to your professional expertise. It denotes your experience, your knowledge, and your ethics. It demonstrates your proficiency. It ensures competence and develops trust. It shows you're committed to continuing education. It's an excellent marketing tool. Once you become certified, you will need to recertify every five years. The cost to recertify is $125 for members and $250 for non-members. You can recertify by accruing continuing education units or by retaking and passing the CWT exam. CWTs need 25 CEUs to recertify. All CEUs must be earned within the current certification period. CEUs are use or lose. Excess CEUs do not roll over into the subsequent certification period. CEUs are earned through continuing education. Examples include professional seminars, workshops, webinars, training for clients or customers. Some CEU options have limits on the number that are allowed to be claimed within your current certification period. AWT will record and maintain all CEUs earned from AWT-sponsored events. CWTs are responsible for recording and maintaining records of CEUs earned from non-AWT events. The Certification Committee evaluates all CEUs from non-AWT events. Continuing education is not repeated education, and CEUs can only be claimed once per year for any event. CEU values are predetermined, and in some instances, limitations do exist. The recertification application can be found in the recertification handbook, number three, from the AWT website. All CEUs from AWT in-person events or from webinars attended in real time have been recorded. CEUs being claimed from sections marked with an asterisk require proof of credits. All recertification applications should be submitted three months in advance of your recertification date. You will receive a three month grace period following your recertification due date. CEUs earned during the grace period are not viable for your current recertification period, but can be applied to your subsequent recertification. Failure to recertify within the three month grace period renders the CWT designation inactive and your CWT listing will be removed from the AWT website. Failure to recertify within the three month grace period will place your CWT in an inactive status. Recertification is allowed during the inactive status, however your CEUs must have been accrued during the current five year recertification period. You must recertify within one year of becoming inactive. Successful recertification within the inactive period allows retention of your original certificate number. Your new recertification date will be five years from your existing recertification date, not from the date your recertification is approved. Failure to recertify during the inactive status will render your CWT invalid. Once your CWT becomes invalid, you cannot recertify. You will be required to begin the certification process anew and you will forfeit your original certificate number. As always, if you have questions or concerns, please contact Angela Pike, Certification Program Manager at 240-404-6477 or email apike at awt.org.